let's be very quick about this. Uh, did you? I'm guessing you saw this PFL card go down. Cedric Dumbe fought. Who was the guy that he was fighting? Um, Dynasty Baki. guy. Yeah, his name is Baki. I, I Baki. forgot his full name. Yeah. So obviously the fight ended very, very unceremoniously and very poorly for the PFL, who has made a huge investment in Cedric Dumbe as their star. Obviously, the UFC famously did not sign him. And a lot of fans feel like that was a huge missed opportunity, a chance to grow in France and Europe. And Dumbe elected to go with the PFL. And this this was bizarre. I mean, he was they were fighting in the ring. You might be able to explain better what happened. But did a did a piece of glass get into his foot? Is that what happened? Because Goddard, Mark was, Goddard just said, fuck this. And he called off the fight. Explain it. It was originally reported as a piece of glass. Then now the reports are saying that it was a splinter. And uh, Dumbe was asking Mark Goddard to pause the fight so that it could be taken out. Now, there are rules on the books that if a fighter is injured or there's some sort of malfunction with any of the equipment that it would be, and he's unable to fight, that it would be ruled a no contest. But in the case of like a splinter, the ringside physician can be called in to examine it, take it out. It, judging from the pictures that I saw, it would have been a thing that could have been taken out. Um, at the same time, the way the Dumbe went about it, because he kept stopped fighting. And he kept asking and, uh, you know, that made Mark Goddard, I guess, get angry. Um, you know, he could have fought through it. The splinter, I don't know how much it was bothering him. Um, well, but, you know, I feel like guys have fought through worse things than a splinter in, in his toe. And, and uh, you know, not to not to drag him down or anything, but I think if he had waited between rounds and then had said between rounds, hey, I have a splinter, tell the ringside doc, let's get this out. Um and I would not be surprised also if this gets turned into a no contest by the commission review. Well, if you, you want to talk about soft, this would be you just throw this up next to the image of John Jones winning the champ UFC championship belt with his toe basically severed off of his foot, bent to the left side. I, I, yeah. I forget who he fought. It wasn't Machida. It was somebody else. I forget who it was. I think um, it was Machida. Was it? And his toe so. was dislocated, was broken towards the left. And he didn't even notice his adrenaline was piercing through his body, obviously. So he didn't notice until afterwards. Um, so I, I I lay a little bit of blame on Mark, Mark Goddard here. because, And I, I lay a little bl bit of blame on the um, language barrier. Because um, Dumbe does not speak amazing English. He was trying to tell Mark Goddard. And look, Goddard looked down. I don't think he understood what, what Dumbe was saying if I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. And then ba afterwards, they start, Baki and him are sort of like face-to-face -face just standing there, and then nobody's doing anything for like maybe five yep. or six seconds. And then Baki goes, do you want to just take care of it? Just take care of it. I think that's what happened, is that Baki looks down at his foot and says, just fucking take care of it. Let's go. Basically saying, hey, fix your foot and let's fight. And then, so Dumbe goes to Goddard like, hey, like let's take, and, and Goddard steps in, he's like, what's going on? And he says, hey, he said to take care of it. I don't think Goddard understood what was going on and then just says, fuck this fights over. I don't blame Goddard. I think he actually handled it probably correctly. I just think that like there was a language barrier where like it was a little bit impatient. I might be wrong on that. And yeah. Right. I think he was a little bit too rounds, quick in between rounds. If he had waited a hundred percent, this would have been handled way differently. But that's to me how I'm reading the situation of how this went down. You can't, call off a fight because i'm assuming the rule that he called off the fight was timidity which is very rare i don't know if you know what timidity is in the yeah, did you see that herb dean handed out a red card at one championship just last week for timidity oh he did oh i didn't and know they that find, no, and cool. chachri find um the, the fighter. fighter i forget who it was he find the guy like half his purse for it and re removed and called him a shame to india it was an indian fighter wow called him a wow. shame to his country <laughs> That's intense. I did not know that. I'm going to look that up. They after. also find but, Jared Brooks' his entire fight purse for dropping that dude on his head. And then they oh, negotiated shit. it back to get half of it. But yeah. Wow. Yeah. One championship um, is pretty cutthroat, bro. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Any place that allows soccer kicks, pretty brutal. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so I think Mark Goddard was a little bit too trigger happy a little bit too quick on the trigger i think if there was a language barrier he should have asked for the translators 
There was probably two there. There was probably one for Russian and one for French, um, you know, and it, maybe he thought it was an injury. Maybe he waved it off as a TKO. I think that's what it was officially scored as, a TKO. Um, what I want to know TKO is when did he get splinter. the splinter? Yeah. What, like, how did it happen? Because I, I didn't – I saw – the highlights but i didn't see the walkout did it happen during the walkout was it a problem with the, that i didn't see the cage? I, I only i only saw it on twitter there under the canvas is wood there's a wood plank usually um i don't know if like splinter could come through the canvas or how you would get a splinter from from the wood under the canvas or if it happened backstage but if it happened backstage why didn't he take care of it then i i don't know there are more details that have to come out before we can really make a firm decision. I do think Mark Otter was quick, and I do expect this to get overturned to a no contest, and those two will probably fight again. Fair enough. And this is let's just, the last thing I'm going to end on is what a disaster this is for PFL, you know, because they, they really need yeah. this. They really need him. They need Doombay to work. This was like their big they – had, they had all the attention on them Thursday, no other fights. Yep. This happens. Pretty bad. Let me tell you something about Andrew. This is my boy right here. You disrespect him, you're disrespecting me. Inside fighting, shout out to inside fighting.